Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to more Revita. Last episode, we had, um, if I'm being honest with you, some of the best runs uh, I've had in a while, but we still could not come away with the win. Uh, it's another shotgun day today, and I'm not even upset about it, dude. Uh, I'm starting to come around to the fact that I actually think the shotgun is one of the best items or guns, I suppose, uh, in the entire game. It's, it's really good. We'll buy the back shield. We're, we're coming up on, we only got 20 more items to unlock, which is uh, kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to kind of miss having an item at the start of our runs, right? Instead, we're just going to have to get them uh, from this, right? But sometimes you, you don't get that. So, um, I mean, look, cancer grenade's really good. <laughs> it's really good. So is Virgo staff, in my opinion, and it's free, right? Which is kind of interesting. Um, what happens if I choose two celestial weapons? Do, does that, um, do something? I guess I don't know. I, I, I haven't really ever considered that. This is free, too. Um, and obviously the key is free. Do we care about Humble Bee? Familiar the fire's piercing bolts. I mean we like we might as well, right? I mean there's no reason not to and then this will just straight up kill me So I guess we'll take the Virgo staff. I think you'll probably be like Tyler. You should have you should have taken The cancer grenade because of how good it is. Uh, I, it's okay. Let's go higher cooldown between dashes We do have this dude Chilling here today. Let's let's go for it. Let's do it um, I'm assuming back shield, shield floating behind you destroys enemy bullets that come in contact. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, it's been a couple days since I've played some Revita. That, that does not mean that we are going to be in any way, shape, or form, um, struggling on this run, uh, because I am the Revita master, uh, so that, that does make things a little bit, a little bit better for me. Um, dude, are you seeing the shotgun, how it fires our wisps? Because that's pretty sick. It, it fires a lot of them, which is awesome. I mean, that is, that is very, very good for us. Um, because we're, we're gonna walk away with a lot of damage from this. I mean, dude, that's, that's pretty spicy. This is why shotgun is so fun, right? The fact that it affects the celestial weapons just, just makes the item, um, that much better it's it's insanely insanely enjoyable so i'm happy this is a, a good this is a good foundation for a run to start out at least on the first floor right so bloody bandage is not good um shade cloak is really not good um i will take bloody bandage and my reasoning for taking it is i can just scrap it for an upgrade later uh and that's effectively I'm, I'm getting more <laughs> out of it, right? Um, it's a crappy relic, there's no denying that. But if I can turn a crappy relic into value, then then in my eyes that that holds a little bit of uh, that holds a little bit of purpose for me to, to do a little bit of do a little bit of buy-in. We got our champion boy. I'm just not concerned about him. Um, this, this is going to be one of the easier champions we ever fight. I mean, it's, it's just it's just a piece of cake, man. It's a piece of cake. You give me Tasty Turnip. Um, it's, it's not the best legendary, I'm going to tell you. We're obviously still going to take it because it's free. <laughs> but it's not the best legendary um, because it doesn't affect gaining new health, right? Um, it only affects healing. So, wow, I mean free rare chest as well um is kind of kind of nutty it's kind of nutty increases the chance for rare pickups okay okay dude i mean this is this is a hell of a foundation you know we always talk about creating a foundation for your run this is this is a hell of a foundation for sure i am a little bit confused as to where my um secret rooms are they they appear to have gone extraordinarily missing on this run so if you you would like to to give me this, this is just definitely not it <laughs> it's definitely not it so this is fine it's fine this is definitely a run where you want to crank max hp to an oblivion um 
Like, you, you just want to see a lot of max HP. And the reasoning is because a uh, tasty turnip giving us that extra heal potential, if we get our HP to an insane point, then we can spend a lot of HP. It's also a run where you probably don't want to rock, like, a lot of curses, which is, that that's a tough thing to say, because normally you want to just rock a lot of curses in general, um, because is good, right? Cur curses give you some benefit in this game. Um, a lot of items scale with them. There, there's just reasons to do it. But in this rare case, I, I kind of feel like we should be avoiding curses for the most part and just trying to, to stack the max HP. And that, that's kind of our, our win condition for the run. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I really don't care about, um, about the Celestial Room. I'm trying to figure out if I care about the bees. That, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Um... And I think the answer is, I don't. I think I don't, and the reason I don't is because we want to spend a lot of health at our... I will do the curse room for floor, for sure. This is a, a really good, really good portal for us, actually. Um, this just guarantees an extra relic on the boss, uh, and we're, we're, like, right next to it. I think our secret room w was there, for the record. Um, bad hit. You're, you're going to take damage in, in some of these rooms. Our run is still not absurdly strong yet. Um, it's just good, right? It's a good run. It's not a strong run. Good foundation, not quite there yet, and that's okay. But we'll be able to uh, spend a crap load of hearts in our uh, various, various statues on, on these uh, next couple of floors, and if you go alt path, then I mean you want to go actually you, you want to go Calvarium today, um, but you don't want to go B floor. Now we have to be careful here, because uh, obviously this shop we're about to pay curses, so don't fall in love with any of the items. I hate you. I hate you as well, um, and like I definitely hate you because you're incredible as well. Um, Wow, this is actually horrible for me. Because I'm about to take a bunch of curses. So, it, it is what it is, you know? Sometimes in life, you, you change plans quickly when things uh, become a little bit wackier. Uh, Mimic Treat is kind of bad this early. I'll, I'll take Parasite, but I think it's horrible. I do... Kind of... I do kind of think... You should... Do this. <laughs> I think you should. I, I think it's a sizable damage increase. I mean, it was a 15% damage up right there, and it's going to continue to rise here. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's it's worth it to do it. Lowering our damage multiplier sucks, but you, you have to do it as well. Um, more damage to corrupted enemies, dude. It's really hard to not take this. I, I have to take this, too. We're, we're building a run that is now built around curses, which is... Like, definitely not what I wanted to do. But we, we can make a executive decision here to just not do the curse dimension, right? Like, I feel like that's something that I'm forgetting about, is I could just not do the curse dimension and thus put ourselves into a position where we don't necessarily have to take a lot of curses but I'm also, like, being kind of dumb here because now we're in a position where we just want to take a lot of curses. Like, why would I not want to take curses when every curse is a damage up? Like, on average, the item I'm going to get from having full HP and doing the uh, statues, that average item is not going to be as good as a basically 10% damage up. So, I, I think I'm being kind of dumb. I'm also looking at our damage, and I'm like, holy hell, what the heck is going on? Um, we're insanely cracked right now. Yeah, this is a good start. This is a good start. Give me this, and then give me this, and then this. And the heartburn is horrible, uh, but guess what? I'll just scrap it. <laughs> and this is where we really, really hope to see Scrappy, boys. Um, because we have several relics that we could scrap, and we could instead just go for huge upgrades here. Scrappy boys, you love to see them. Okay, 
So, first of all, I think back shield's kind of dumb, but that's okay. Bloody, bloody boy, that's fine. And then heartburn, that's fine. Then we're going for upgrades. Dude, like, all of our relics are rare, <laughs> which is not good. It's not good. Um, that goes up to 30. Stinger's okay, but I think this is definitely where you want to start. I think that's okay, but I don't think it's amazing. Um, I don't think this matters to me. I think this is fine, but I'd rather increase something like this first. Then we're going to increase this for 12.5 for each curse. I'm going to hit this with one upgrade. I probably, if I was going to do that, I should have maybe not done this. Although, I, I don't know. I'm now like, we might as well do that. And that. And that. And now I look insane. Um, but... 68% damage early on this run is pretty good. That's pretty good. I I think this is I think this is a, a very large positive for this run. I don't know if that pisses off that frog for me to jump. I don't think it does actually. I think he's still happy. I'm going to try. Okay? I'm going to try. Fro frogs Frogs create their own interesting dilemma in this game, where sometimes I feel like I should just not be caring about them. Um, but if we can make it work, that's your secret room, which is kind of spicy. I mean, that, that's a good secret room to find. Okay, this is this is fine. We, we still got the damage right now, I'm going to tell you. We, we still got the damage. Life is going well. Hit me with my secret room. We didn't find a single one on the first floor. <laughs> <laughs> so, feels good to, to find one now. 78% damage. Just continuing to, to crank to an ungodly oblivion. You do like to see that. You do. Bounce me, please. I'm just, I just want to look for, uh, for secret rooms. As we could have them on any corner of this map. I don't think they are anywhere here. But it's good to check. Um, I do think... Don't, don't touch the frogs. I do think that... That's interesting, actually. That's very interesting. Um, you know what? I don't think that that hurts to take. I, I think that's fine. Um, I do think that if given the opportunity to enter the curse, curse portal... I don't know why I said cursed portal. Um, if we have the app... <laughs> Jesus. Opportunity to enter the cursed portal portal speak english tyler it would be crazy you literally don't know any other languages so this is a good one to stick to if we have the opportunity to enter it we may consider not doing it just because oh are you kidding me dude the celestial items piss off the frog <laughs> i did not know that i would not have done um the war crimes that i decided to do if uh if i knew that I, I thought we were in the clear on, on Frogo there. But apparently, uh, Celestials do piss him off, so that's fine. Okay. I do still... I mean, look, having a high max HP is still going to be valuable for this run. Uh, because of the fact that you have Tasty Turnip. So big heals are going to just be more valuable in the end. But if you spend your max hp to get upgrades you spend your max hp to get upgrade I, like you, you gotta draw the line somewhere i'm gonna do this we have a lot of relics on this run but there is a part of me that's like i don't know man if we can continue to get more rares and we're gonna get choices here it's kind of crazy cursed candle is just absolutely insanely good um <laughs> The fact that it also gives us a curse, which then increases our damage, is just, it's just dumb. Um, it's so dumb. So, 85% damage now on this one. Um, don't need a rocket scientist to explain to you that that is, like, absurdly good for this run. Um, we will then also get a shop here, which will provide me with Probably another relic or two or three. Um, and I'm going to keep my health where it is. I'm not going to build a new 
HP because we can heal here and get like way more bang for our buck because of Tasty Turnip. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Um, we're probably not going to switch off of Virgo Staff ever, so give me the damage up. Honestly, give me the damage up because this doesn't really matter because I'm going to just full heal and then I'm going to spend everything here. Unfortunate. You would have really liked to see a little bit more from that. Uh, it is what it is. This is now where I'm like, I would like to have the curse portal. Because defeating the boss on this floor is nothing cursed. Like, I, that was an insane dodge. I just wanted to check for the secret room, man. That was an insane dodge. We've been playing, I'm just going to be perfectly blunt with you. We've been playing really good Revita recently. Like, I have felt very, very positively uh, about my level of play. I know that that sounds cocky. But, like, I just feel like my dodges are on recently. It's a good position to be in when, when you can feel good about your dodges. Like, I'm, I'm dipping under these guys. I'm dipping over these guys. You, you guys are a little annoying, though. Let me tell you. You're a little annoying. Still looking for secret rooms as well. Guess what? I didn't even think that was one. It was lucky we got that. Okay. Fight it. Fight it. We're good. Three full hearts, five shields. I mean, we, we haven't gotten hit <laughs> on this floor, so there, there's no denying that things are going a little bit okay on this one. They're, they're definitely going better than expected, at least. Get cranked, get cranked, get cranked. Mm, I don't like this, but just kidding. It was completely fine. Dude, we're in the freaking business right now i feel so damn cracked it's insane i'm i'm loving it we we have found all of our secret rooms so let's not ah if we finally got hit um let's not get too 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 crazy on this one just play smart grab a curse portal hopefully on the next room before the boss fight you you would really really love to see it here because it's just a free relic from the boss just spawn cursed enemies. This is actually a lot of cursed enemies when you think about it. Just spawn the portal. Do it. I dare you. Last enemy. Spawn it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. I, I respect it. I respect it. So, let's get a boss kill. The flawless would be sick. Uh, we, we've cranked the max HP back up to four. Um, four and a half, technically, but um, it's, it's definitely closer to five than it is to four especially if we can get a flawless here which would be nice you're also seeing virgo staff damage um just coming in extremely clutch it is extremely clutch he's dead over there which is even cooler um it's just an easy fight man it's just an easy fight we're, we're more than happy about this. Another shield, another damage up. Damage up to 100% floor 2 with shotgun, keep in mind. So that's um, insanely good. And then I'm definitely, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm definitely taking the chances that we could crash on this run. Um, I'm taking the chances. We're going to roll. Uh, I'm just going to be real with you. Curse Candle has got to get upgraded. Because 2.5 on each kill uh, means our damage goes through the roof. But we, we have to take the, the chance at a crash in, in Calm Caldarium. If you don't know about this crash, um, perhaps you're a little new to the series or something. Um, there's a secret floor that you can get to from this floor. Uh, and there is a crash associated in the game right now. Keep in mind, the game is still in early access, so um, these things happen. Uh, it'll be fixed in, in the full release of the game here in uh, soon TM, more or less. Um, there's not a release date yet for 1.0 release, but I'm sure we're going to hear about it soon. Um, but there's a crash associated with if there's a dark room on it so meaning you get the the dark modifier um for the floor and then go there there's a chance for a crash it's not even at a hundred percent i don't think um so it's it's a pretty rare situation it's like a, a one out of 25 chance um 
So it, it's one of those things where we're going to take our chances um, and, and we're going to roll with it. Bees in a bottle, I don't care about. Gun boot, I also don't care about. It does come with a blessing. Um, neither one of these are good. Let, let's just make sure that that's well known here. So, I, I guess we take gun boot because it gives us the shot speed. I think that that's a weak... It's, it's a weak play, right? It's a weak play, but it's, it's our weak play. I'm good with it. Split is okay. It's okay. Concussion bolt's okay. Life vest, I don't care about. I'd rather just have split. We get a curse on top of it. Uh, so, there's a damage up on top of it. Um, I'll take another Parasite. This isn't really bothering me. Um, my brain, I used to be really, really bad at Parasite. And lately, it feels like I have all of a sudden become immune to Parasite as a curse. And it just does not bother me anymore. Uh, so, that's good. Speaking of curse, you're kind of annoying, my dude. I don't care about Celestial Room. I don't. I know there's better, like, Bow would obviously be an insane Celestial for this run. And I'm, I'm not denying that. It would be pretty good. But we don't need it. I'm, I'm perfectly happy maintaining. Don't be mirror, don't be mirror. Okay, good talk. <laughs> I'm perfectly happy maintaining our Virgo staff because it's doing really well for us right is doing really well we're, we're very very happy about it now we do have to maintain two shields so that we can pop them onto this statue here momentarily um so that's that's fine that is more than fine we will be going to our shop and not to our oh dude i'm taking just a butt ton of damage in here golden string is fine there's a shield for you. I am going to go here. We are going to probably spend a lot of HP, which is going to be a little bit sketchy. Going to be a little sketchy. What do you got? Ceremonial knife is spicy. Oh my god, it's spicy. You have to take it, uh, but it's spicy. We also get a synergy out of it. Holy crap. Okay, hollow chest, 125 damage. What's the synergy we got? Corrupted. Okay, um, I don't know what the corrupted synergy does. I'm going to be real with you. But I'm going to be happy about it. Uh, damage up. Key. I'll crank it again. Uh, no, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. But let's call it there. You know you have to give up another shield. That's why I'm being a little... I'm being a little bit cautious about this. But Tasty Turnip allows us to get uh, our health back pretty quickly here. So that's also why I'm I'm not being insanely, insanely. Okay, I will probably take the curse portal. <laughs> this is this is one of those like definitely do as I say, not as I do. I think taking curse portal here is horrifying. Um, but I am gonna do it. This would be a great time to get a shield or two. Just to give us a little bit of protection. Don't get hit, sucks. I mean that that sucks. But that, that's implying that we're um, not going to annihilate the room, so. <laughs> Stores sell an additional item. You take curses, right? Because it's going to give you damage. Um, we don't necessarily care about shops selling additional items, but you still take it because it will help you in the damage department. So it's fine. Um, no curse boy, or shield boy, statue boy. You, you know what I'm talking about. Our, our guy we have to donate to. We're now also at a point I cannot get hit anymore. Um, because we we have... Okay, there he is. You, you have to not get hit in this room. Which I'm going to tell you, that's, that's not going to be a, a problem unless you spawn another wave. Because this is not a hard room. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. There's your shield. We're taking a risk, right? We're taking a risk. We're, we're going down to Calm Caldarium. We may crash. Um, hopefully we don't. It is what it is. The reason we're doing this, by the way, is because there is a statue in Calm Caldarium. The, the mother statue basically is you give it an amount of hearts, and then it gives you a number of relics equal to that number of hearts. So we're going to have the opportunity, if we can continue to stack our HP here for a little bit, and I'm probably not going to do any upgrades on this floor as a result of this, but if we can stack the upgrades a little bit, 
we could end up with, like, a disturbing amount of relics on the next floor. Like, I'm, I'm talking five, six relics from one room kind of situation. And that's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. A flawless here is insanely helpful, too. I'm, I'm more happy than freaking anything. Give me this. It's a cursed ring. No, it's not a cursed ring, actually. It's just a regular ring. I like the shield as well for a little bit of protection as we move forward. We will heal. I'm not upgrading, I don't think, un unless we can scrap stuff, because um, I'll scrap stuff for sure. I would. Uh, can't scrap. I just want to see... Ceremonial Knife should be a one-heart upgrade. Yeah. I'm going to be real. I, I just don't think it's worth it. Like, it's it's good, don't get me wrong. A 5% increase, it doubles the effectiveness of the item. I just don't think you can do it. We do not have Dark Floor. We will not crash here. Okay, that's that's very important. Now, I'm also going to bring up, we, we do have to eventually get a Flawless on this floor. Um, This is the rare time where I'm not going to do the Curse Portal. Uh, just because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. But we do have to get a, a flawless floor here at some point in time. Uh, I don't expect that to be today. Um, but do I think this run is good enough to possibly get a, a flawless floor here? I think the answer to that is actually yes. I think this run is insanely, insanely strong. So if, if we can pull off a damn miracle and get a little achievement, okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, in a lot of ways, that makes me happy because now I don't really have to worry about this. We, we still want to make sure... Yeah, okay, I'm I'm getting completely fricked up in here. But that's okay. We do get a prison key, which is nice. New, new items, always good. Always good. Let's crank this. We're going to get another heart here. This is where things get a little spicy, I'm going to tell you. This is where things could get really spicy. I think I'm going to take five. I think I'm going to take five. Um, this is just five relics, man. We just get five random relics. Uh, so what do we got? We got garlic with a 10% damage up. I'm good with that. I see snow globe. Chance to freeze all enemies upon entering the room. Honestly, kind of spicy. I'm good with it. Um, solar fragment, I don't care about. Spike ball, I kind of don't care about. And explosive grenade, I kind of don't care about. So I'm going to actually crank all of these get myself a little bit of HP back. And, and it's just, like, it's so good. <laughs> and you're probably even going to be mad that I didn't take some more of those, right? Because we, we definitely could have taken more of those um, and, and gone for Solar Fragment. You know, we do have Garlic, so it's a little bit of a, a synergy there. I, I just don't, I don't necessarily think that we needed to. It, it's it's just not a huge it's not a huge concern for me so i'm i'm happy with where this sits i'm i'm good with it get fricked thank you little ticket action we are gonna obviously do the challenge room um hopefully it's not don't get hit because i don't know if i can do a don't get hit on on this floor I'm, I'm really, really not good at this floor and also don't like this floor. Um, the water mechanics just don't, they don't mesh with me at all. Um, and I know people have said, you just got to dash more. Um, but I, it, it messes with my brain. I'm just going to be honest with you. Extremely messes with my brain. I also don't know the enemies here, which does not help at all. Um, but that, that just comes with time, right? I just got to get used to... The enemies on the floor don't. I mean, dude, we actually wiped every wave. <laughs> That's kind of impressive. Um, Wisp Jr., we'll, we'll take him as another synergy. I believe that's probably the familiar synergy. I don't know what the heck the familiar synergy does. I, I really should learn some of these at some point. Dude, frick the frogs, man. They annoying as hell. We, we definitely ain't finding no uh, secret rooms on this floor. I'll tell you that. I'm... I mean, look. I'm not gonna die, right? But I could die against the boss. 
I just don't know this floor at all. The fact we even talked about a flawless here <laughs> is, is kind of comical. Because I definitely was nowhere close to a flawless on this floor. I also feel like I've missed like 15 special rooms. Okay, there's finally a chest. And I'm gonna do the chest. I, I see no reason not to. You know, it, it could be... It could be good, right? It could be good. Plus, I mean, we're gonna get a choice in it. So that that's not necessarily a bad thing either. It's fine. And, and somehow, in some weird magical universe, even after getting hit a bunch, I'm full HP. So I guess I'm completely fine and have nothing to complain about. Um, not a mimic. It's another rare, and you're gonna give me the choice between two relics. We've got coupon, shop items cheaper, or bullets turn into laser beams. I like laser diode. There, I said it. I like it. Our rate of fire obviously goes into the pooper, uh, but we could upgrade this to make it better. Um, and with a shotgun, I'm just going to be honest with you, I kind of think this is sick. I kind of think it's sick. Um... Don't let me be the one to tell you that I think it's sick. People will maybe be mad at that pickup. But I think it's fun. I think it's fun. I do want to increase our rate of fire now though. Because it's a little it's a little poo-poo. It's a little poo-poo. And by a little poo-poo, I mean like it's actually a lot poo-poo. Like our, our rate of fire is absolute. It's absolute trash, if I'm, I'm just going to be perfectly blunt with you. Um, do I want to fight this boss cursed? I can't flawless anyway, so I'm kind of like, why not do him cursed? Um, uh, dude, that's triple shot. <laughs> okay, Th this is one of those, like, definitely do as I say, not as I do, because this is a horrific idea. Oh my god, you little butthole. Okay. Just give me triple shot. That's a damage up. I want triple shot because of how stupid it is, right? Like, we're just going to be firing beams all over. Come on. You got to give me it. It's dead on, man. Don't wiggle. We're, we're golden. This is such a bad idea. Okay. So, decreases our fire rate by 50%. <laughs> okay. We now fire five shots every year. <laughs> oh, my lord. It is, is slow. It is very slow. Okay. Um, look, it's a horrible idea, right? It's a horrible idea. But when we deal damage, that damage is also bad. So, <laughs> it's, it's, look, I mean, you, you make decisions on runs sometimes. Um, I'm just going to bless it, right? I'm going to bless triple shot. Because the worst case scenario, um, honestly, the worst case scenario, it upgrades. If it gets rid of it, like, kind of even better for me, right? The Blessing of the Well upgraded the Relic. I don't think it actually helped us at all. I, I genuinely don't think it did. I think our rate of fire is exactly the same as before. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, this run maybe went from close to a win to possibly just being a loss, um, which is an interesting twist of, of times, but that's what you get when you watch uh, Revita on my channel. Sometimes you just have to accept the fact that we're going to do stupid stuff, um, and I am very proud of it still. I am. It's, it's, a, it's a garbage idea for a, a garbage person. That garbage person is me. Oh, you're dead already? Okay. I mean, hey, can't really complain about that. We, we probably could have flawlessed him um, if I knew that was going to be so easy. Gain two random relics at the start of next area. Oh, please, have it be the one that is a uh, quad shot, but you lose uh, more damage and rate of fire. Because that would be uh, hilarious. That would be hilarious. Okay. Send me in, coach. I'm ready to play. We need to... Oh, that's right. It's not even going to be upgrades. Hilarious. Um, shields will give health instead of shields. I'm going to be real. I don't think either of these are really that good. Um, so I'm just going to say no to that. Just going to just gonna hit you with a hot little no. 
So what did we get from this? Red die, reroll shop items by shooting, opening a big chest spawns a pickup. Okay. Um I think this is gonna be a long floor. I think it's gonna be a long floor. Dude, I'm I'm spamming shooting, just so you know. That's that's how low our <laughs> rate of fire is. Like it, it is I'm I'm spamming shooting, man. Gun jumping is just never gonna happen. Like if you if you want me to shotgun jump at all. Wait a minute, dude. The unlikely hero of the run is gun boots about to save me. I think gun boots is about to save me. I completely forgot about it. Gun boots is just faster shooting. It's just faster shooting. Okay, hold on. We we've got something here. <laughs> We've got something here. In some weird universe, Gun Boots comes in to save us. Okay. I'm not against this. I'm not against this. We, we have a run that is now fully focused around Gun Boots and um, Virgo Staff. That's where we're at, man. You know what? If there's a secret room over there and I accidentally hit it, uh, good for him. Um, it has to be amazing for me to do this. Enemies explode into bullets on death that can kill other enemies. Pretty good, I'm gonna tell you. Crits, pretty good. Increasing all my stats a little bit, also pretty good. Additional dash does not bother me at all. Chance to gain health, don't care. <sighs> what the hell, man? This is horrible, but kind of sick. I have to take it. I have to take it. This is psychopathic energy. This is psychopathic energy. Um, I will take Weakened. This is Psychopathic. It's still horrible, right? Our rate of fire is still horrible. I'm gonna tell you, we have made some ridiculously awful decisions on this run. I mean, like, like literally just probably went from a win to being a loss. I can't do the Curse Portal. I'm sorry. I cannot do the Curse Portal. That That's just asking for death. It, it's looking death in the face and going, hey, w hey, what are you doing, baby? You up? You, you got kick? Like, I, I can't... I can't do it. Okay. Dude, are you seeing the damage sometimes, though? The, like, the Virgo staff is still... It's, it's doing all of the work for us. Like, if you ever have any doubt in your mind about this run... Virgo staff is is your potential to still win. I'm I'm dead serious. Okay. You you have to still go for chests. I don't even know what we want. <laughs> like what what could we possibly want from this chest? Is is not even a good chest, man. Like what what do I possibly want to see? Okay, yeah. Tesla coil where all of our shots are bound together. It gives us a damage up and it gives us another damage up. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm I'm happy with that. Uh, it does not synergize with laser diode just like half the other things in the game. That's fair. Okay. Good good talk. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. It's still a 10% damage up. So we'll we'll live with it. Like Don't really have a choice but to live with it, to be fair. Um <laughs> since we're the ones playing the game. Okay. How are we beating the final boss? It's actually so simple. You're just gonna run the hell away from them. This is the one Revita run where my range is just not a problem. That that is normally the issue with the final boss. So range is not a problem. We will check the shop. I mean, I don't even know what I want from it. Probably nothing because the prices are gonna be insanity. Poisoned apple. I don't think it's important. I think this is fine. 1.5 hearts for a 20% damage increase, and you get another damage increase by uh, doing that. What do I care? That's fine. Get me out. We got four more rooms before the boss. We're, we're going to get a heart back. I, I don't think that's really even a question. Dude, you just send Virgo staff, and then everything dies. <laughs> It's just that simple. Like, we kind of just have to walk around and the run wins itself. I'm playing an auto battler right now. It's a Revita auto battler. 
Okay, Celestial Room, you would actually have to be clinically the stupidest person on Earth to decide to change your Celestial Weapon on this run. Like, you, you have to be straight up the dumbest human being alive. Um, Virgo Staff is the only reason you're going to win this run. You, you, you cannot choose to do that. It, it's just idiotic. Um, I also, going into the curse portal at this stage of the game, is also idiotic. You, you just can't do it. I would love to, you, you just can't do it. Um, I've somehow reclaimed all of our health, and we're gonna be going into the final boss with practically full HP. It, it may be a little less than full, um, but honestly, it is going to be full. So, I, there's like no complaints here. I, I do think that this run somehow has turned into a win, which I, I blows my mind, right? That completely blows my mind. Curse for orbiting fireballs around the player upon defeating an enemy. Look, you take this because of the curse that increases your damage. D destroy a relic at the end of the area. What the hell do I care, right? What do I care? Maintain a little bit of uh, HP in the tank and then just do what you need to do, right? This is so simple. You're just going to crank. Uh, I'm somehow alive in this room. That was an insane set of plays by me. You, you did the trash trash attack, but that's okay. You're, you're allowed. You are a final boss. You're allowed to be a pain in the rear. Okay. Yeah, you got me. It's just too many shots on the screen, man. Like, I'm just being real with you. It's, it's too much going on for my tiny pea brain to handle. Okay. Very good. Very good. On some universe, I have evaded. Uh, dude, did you see those dodges? Uh, that was actually absurd. <laughs> I don't know how we managed to dodge um, that well in that tiny little uh, area. I'm going to heal real quick. Okay. This is simple. You just shoot from afar. You just shoot from afar. Our laser diode actually does not reach that far. J just shoot from afar. And then get your your things going. You you just have to get enough shots in that you can get your Virgo staff popping. If you can get Virgo staff popping, you you have a chance. Our our rate of fire is what's making this miserable. You're you're halfway through. Things are obviously a little spicy. Your slow rate of fire is uh, still a pain in the rear. Okay. Don't don't look too close. But this one's looking good. I can't believe it. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what, dude. Sometimes in life, you just gotta, you just gotta take the stupid option. If you take the stupid option, you got a chance to win. It's, it's just that easy. It's just that easy. Um, claim my next shard. Sit on the throne of lies. I'm out of here, man. Okay, I mean, that's a hell of a run. That's definitely a hell of a run. Um, that's a wild one. That's a wild one. So we're up to shard 20. That's fun. We've got Empty Vessel as a, an option for next time. Uh, what is Shard 20? Lowered Max HP. Oh, but we can equip a, ch a ticket for cheaper, two of them, now. Um, so that's pretty spicy. I could also put a rare hat on my head. Um, we, we do... You know, we haven't been great at buying hats. Maybe I should just buy all the hats, right? I'm sure there's an achievement for buying all the hats. This is also a good time to note, I, I will be um, resetting my save file for the 1.0 release. I just think that it's the right thing to do. Uh, so, 
yeah, we'll be we'll be starting from scratch, which will be a little annoying, right? Because we will not have uh, everything unlocked. But I think that it's just I think it'll be more fun uh, given all of the things, right? There, there's going to be a lot of things that are new, so it should be good. I don't know how many hats I, I actually need. 29 of 118. Are you freaking kidding me? Um, well, I'm, I could be here for a long time. That's for damn certain. Um, <laughs> I had no idea there were 118 hats, man. 118. What the criminy Christmas, man? That's too many hats. I should have been doing this a long time ago, man. I've reached a point where soul coins are just like not something I need to worry about. I also have so many building materials. I, I should be going here. I'm pretty sure I have all the expansion stuff. That is very true, very true, very true, very true. Yep, we do. I don't have all these though. So like I, I might as well, right? Iron benches, now we got stone benches we could choose from instead. Can't have all of those uh, at one time. Little ceiling greenery. It's like I, I really should be doing all of this. So I'm, I'm happy to do all of it. Hanging sign in the metro. We're going to make this metro the damn prettiest place on planet Earth, dude. Winter garland. I mean, look, we're not going to put the winter stuff on. We're, we're out of winter. Win winter's over. We don't need candy canes. We get get all this crap out of here. I don't want to see it. As soon as it comes in, I'm xing them all. Uh, in the hall, give me a, a gardening table, okay? Sure. Uh, some retro flower pots. These are retro Mations flower pots. We got more retro flower pots, <laughs> and then believe it or not, another retro flower pot. Very good, very good. You got 10 more to spend. Hit me with a big box, okay? Once again, very holiday themed. I, I do not think we need that. Tree presents, very holiday themed. I do not think we need that. So say goodbye to big box. We'll, we'll put some uh, decorative flower pots. That looks fine, blue. We still have a bronze statue that costs uh, a frick load, okay? And then some stuff on the other side. Some graffiti of the caretaker. That's actually pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as always, a like on the video is much appreciated. I will see you in the next one. You have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.